Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to create those links that actually download a file. How do you set up something on your site to, you know, when you click it, it prompts you to download a file. Now most of the time when you're on the web, it, links are usually taking you to other pages or displaying some sort of content. You know, if you click to view an image, it's just going to display that image, you know, with a white background or whatever because ultimately your web browser is a file browser. It opens all sorts of web files .html.php and on and on and on but it also has the ability to, to display video files it also has the ability to play sounds display all sorts of images PDF files and the list goes on and on so the problem is that if you want somebody you absolutely want somebody to actually download a file to their computer most people don't know how to take that video file or that sound file and you know it's usually it's as simple as right clicking the link and a save target as or something like that um, most people don't know how to do that so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how I like to prepare my files so that when somebody clicks on a link that leads to a file that I want them to download first off I'm going to show you how to actually set that up but then further, how do you how to get that window to pop up that says, "Look, do you want to save this to your hard drive? Do you want to open this with this program or that program or whatever?" How do you actually get that to happen? So let's take a look at that, and um, we're going to set it all up in Dreamweaver. What we're going to do is we're going to link this thumbnail right here to a larger version of the image. So I've got that larger version of the image right here in Adobe Bridge, and I'm also going to pull up WinZip. So the trick is, and the trick I like to use is zip up your files that you want to download, you want the user to download in WinZip because WinZip is something that a browser can't display. It forces the download, it forces the user to say, yeah, let me download this file and then once they have it, Windows will extract it or if they have WinZip, WinZip will extract it and so on and so forth. So I like to zip up files that I absolutely want people to be able to download. So what you would do is hit the new, create new archive button right here. And after doing that, you just navigate to where you want the file, the archive saved. This is not the actual file that you're going to be putting in the WinZip archive. This is just where you want that archive. So I'm going to call this uh, boat image dot zip. And hit OK. And now it's basically going to say, all right, add the file. I'm just going to hit cancel because I'm going to use bridge. I'm just going to drag the file right in. So I'm going to come over here to bridge. I'm just going to click that file. I'm actually dragging it down to my taskbar to bring WinZip back up. And I'm just going to drop it right in there. It's going to say, would you like to add it? Yes, I want to add it. And there we go. We have zipped it up. So now we have this zip file. All right, I'm going to close WinZip now. I'm going to come back to Adobe Bridge. Note, our zip file has showed up, boatimage.zip. And now I'm going to place this in Dreamweaver. So I'm going to bring Dreamweaver to the forefront and drop bridge on top of that. I'm going to grab this boat image.zip. Matter of fact, I'm just going to move, <laughs> close up bridge a little bit. I'm going to grab this boat image.zip and I'm going to drag and drop it in my images folder here in Dreamweaver. All right, you see, there's boat image.zip. So now all that I have to do, whenever you want to have a file download, even if it's just displaying an image or displaying video, all you have to do is just link directly to that file. So it's as simple as selecting this thumbnail, coming down here, grabbing my little point to file pick whip here next to the link input field, and just drag and drop it on boat image.zip. I'm going to save this. I'm going to hit F12 to preview up my browser. And now when I click this, you're going to see that I get this. Uh, dialog box, that's the word I'm looking for, dialog box that says, hey, would you like to open this with WinZip? Would you just like to save this file? And then once you do that, once you hit OK, it's going to download the file and it's going to save it to your hard disk and you can then extract the file from the zip file and you don't have to worry about saying, alright, click this and then right click on this and hit this and all of that good stuff. You do, however, have to be worried that the end user is going to have to unzip it, but uh, I know Windows at least makes it pretty easy to unzip files and extract files uh, from .zip files. It's no, not really a big deal, but that's the way I like to do it when I absolutely want the users to be able to download a file. And again, if you're not really worried about users you know, being able to download a file like that, just setting up any file to download, just linking directly to the file does the trick, and that's how you get it done. So that's it for this one. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and please go check out the site. It's www.tutvid.com.